from Atlanta, Georgia. Today, we got another product review for you guys. And it's all about the best budget speaker. To me, at least, these are the best budget speakers. The Harbinger B2215s. Wait a minute, I'm not gonna bore you with the whole unboxing, cutting the box up, taking the wrapper off. We know that it comes with the cable, we know that it comes with the manual, so we skip all that. Here are the goodies. This is what you guys want to see. The new design. These are the new design that just came out this last year for 2017. They cleaned it up. They look really nice. They don't look that cheap. The build's very, very well built, I think. Um, one of the cons that I don't like about this is that they're really, the 15s are really heavy. They're 40 pounds. It's bulky. But you got a lot of options here. I mean, for a best budget, to me, these are best used for tailgate parties, uh, house parties, karaoke. If you want, if you don't want to bring your good stuff out to a tailgate party, and, or you got a wedding for less, than, I, I would use these for 50 to 60 people, no more than that, in a wedding setting. Tailgate party, open, you make your noise, they sound great. Up to, I think, halfway, or three quarters, they're good. Don't push them too much because, of course, you know, for the price point, they'll start getting distorted. Now, this is only for people that are looking for speakers between 100 to 300. I would use these, these for tailgates and 50 to 60 weddings, karaoke, home parties. Sound nice, look great. Also, let me turn around and show you what you guys got. You got mic input, SLR, of course. You got mic input, main input, line out. Each one of them has their separate gains and equalizer that you can EQ them, set them. So you can, you can do multiple things. You have auxiliary. You also have RCA, so you can do plenty of things with these. You can hook up your iPad, your computers, uh, multiple things. Another thing that I would use these for would be for um, the ceremonies outside. But in my case, I would go get the, the 12s, the V2212s, instead of the 15, just because they're a little bulky. They do offer more bass, but you can always add a sub if you want. And if you add a sub to these or the 2212s, I think you're good. You could definitely do nice parties and they sound great. I don't, as long as you keep them no more than three quarters or at half. And you can play with your key EQ on your panel or on your mixer, depending on what you want to do. To me, these are the best budget speakers out there. From $100 to $300. You can go with the 12s or you can go with the 15s. I think in my case, I will go with the 15s. I want to be the one you tell all your friends about who Here's the back of the speaker guys, like I stated before in the video, what makes the speaker great, another reason is, look what you got to work with. You got plenty of room, different scenarios you can connect, you got plenty to work with. Power cable, power switch, two band EQ, SLR, RCAs, auxiliary, front LED, clipping light, power light. You can control individual channels with different knobs. I personally would set these to flat on the main, go half or three quarters of the way and then try to control the speaker with your mixer or your main board to get the best sound out of it. Nothing else I can tell you guys, go try them out. Anything between 100 to 300 or you need to start a good party. Good speaker, and like they say out there, practice and enjoy. Peace.